<laughs> Grider House Coffee. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Happy right. Saturday, y'all. Yeah. Saturday. Okay. <laughs> it was okay. They don't have their all their drinks it's yet. It's fine. So. Yeah. You know what? We'll forgive you this one time only. It's early on Saturday evening, y'all. Thank you so much for having us. We are uh, three ladies here without our friend Jamie, but we're all from Nashville, and we're going to play some songs we wrote for you guys tonight. We're so grateful that you all showed up, so we're going to clap for you. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much for, for showing here. up. Uh, my name is Megan Barker. This is Sarah Faith, and this is Sophie Lynn, and we're going to play some songs we wrote. Do you want to kick it off? Let's do it. So, um... My name is Sarah Faye. Thank you, Megan. Yeah. For that wonderful intro. <laughs> and wherever Love Jamie is, I think Jamie's watching. Um, we're sorry that you don't feel well, buddy, but we're going to do our best here without you. We're going to hold it down. Um, this first song that I like to play, um, I was told that it is also okay to tell the stories behind the songs. Is that true? Yes, we will. Are we okay with that? <laughs> okay. I wrote this song a couple years ago with my friend Allison Elena. And uh, when I wrote it, I didn't know... I just had this wacky idea. I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to write a song like this? Um, and then last year, I went through some stuff that made this song made a whole lot, make a whole lot more sense. Uh, this one's called Mona Lisa. And I had this idea of like all the conspiracies that we make up about Mona Lisa, but we have no way of like confirming them because everybody that knows anything about why she was created is dead. Uh, so I thought, like, also I do that with my emotions. Uh, it's just going somewhere, I promise. Um, like, I kind of walk around like, I don't really feel like talking about it. People are like, what's your deal? And I still don't feel like talking about it. So maybe in that essence, Mona Lisa and I have something in common. And maybe you have felt that way as well. Either way, this one's called Mona Lisa, and I hope that you like it. Everybody's got their 
story Everybody thinks they know me A million versions of the truth Just like they do oh, I've been keeping the massive up Walking around acting tough Playing it safe, playing the game Oh, Whatever it takes And everybody's got their story Everybody thinks they know me A million versions of the truth Just like they do with Mona Lisa Thank y'all so much. Yeah, what a jam. Guys, we had a full house here tonight. This is so exciting. Yeah, you can clap for yourself. <laughs> I like that you're excited to clap. Well, y'all, uh, we don't get to play for people who want to hear us very often, or maybe that's just me. I do a lot of shows in Nashville, and like live music's totally lost on them. They're like, oh, I could see this. You could throw a rock and hit someone playing live music. So it's really extra special. This is my second time being here. Um, my friend Jamie Adamson, who usually puts this all together, invited me, and uh, he is sick at home, hopefully watching the live stream that's happening. I don't know where the cameras are. Hi, Jamie. Dirt, dirt, dirt. We love you. We miss you. Feel better. We'll see you next time. Uh, I'm going to kick things off with a drinking song. Is anybody drinking? Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Everybody. <laughs> I like it. This is going to be fun. Yep. <clears throat> and just as, as a little reminder, this is technically a listening show, so I hate to be that guy, but put your phone on silent, unless you're filming me singing, of course, and then tag me in it. This is called Tequila Told Me To. <clears throat> I caught your eyes across the room I know you saw me, but you're playing it cool I just had to get to know you Boy, tequila told me to You look so lonely drinking whiskey Like you might be missing somebody Maybe this confidence is borrowed We might not feel like this tomorrow, oh no But tonight I'm feeling you Boy, tequila told me to Call a cab and invite you over See where this is going It ain't no thing if we don't want it to be I'm gonna do Because the killer told me to Grab your head and pull you closer Should probably take it slower I feel like moving fast In this bottle of grease Boy, I'm gonna make my move Because the killer told me to You got one? Chasing Cuervo with fire But I woke up here with you I guess Tequila told me to Call the cabin, but you over See where this is going It ain't no thing if we don't want it to be I'm gonna do what I wanna do Because Tequila told me to Big as the 
killer told me to I'm gonna do what I wanna do everybody because tequila told me to yeah <laughs> Hi. thank you sound great thank you sir that was awesome Oof. man oh, do you. I relate to that song <laughs> <laughs> I love me some tequila though I'm not afraid of a little tequila <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, my name is Sophie Lynn. Thank you again for being here. This is actually my first time here at the Grinder House, and man, Fresh this is incredible. Too. I just love this place. It is awesome. It's decorated and incredible. You guys are incredible. So I'm really happy to be here. But my name is Sophie. I loved your party theme, so I think I'm going to kind of keep with that on this next one. Is that all right? What? Yeah, are we feeling that vibe? Okay, cool. This one's called Y'all or Nothing, and um, I wrote this song because I was trying to think of a song that was kind of a good show opener. I like to base my stuff off my live show. Um, and then I was like, this song's really cool. I wrote it with uh, three other of my good friends. And I went in the studio, and I was actually a couple weeks ago at Winona Judd's studio recording it, and it was like full circle. Felt like, what am I even doing here? But this is amazing. So um, this one's called Y'all or Nothing, and y'all will, y'all will be able to hear it uh, next month. It's a bar with empty bar stool Sunday morning, empty church pews climbing to the top without some friends to share the view. A road trip with an empty shotgun mixtape that you made for no one. What's a song with nobody to sing to? If I know one thing, it's a kid's here to love. song without the draw I need y'all y'all or nothing you're the party I'm the starter want a two step I'm your partner if you walk the line you can bet I'll walk it too you're Johnny and I'm June if I know one thing it's a kid cheers alone to the crowd Your song without the draw. I need y'all, y'all or nothing. Y'all or nothing. Oh, let me tell you something. If there's one thing I know, if you ain't coming with me, then I'll be staying home. It's y'all or nothing. And I can't cheer the love. a lot of new stuff lately and um, there's a whole new album coming out soon which I'm sure you guys can attest to like when we say yeah it's coming soon like we don't really know what I have that no means. idea I have yeah. no clue what that means exactly. I'm, just, I'm just gonna throw it under the bus right now like I have no idea what that means I'm like, Next there's month. some stuff recorded I'm a Gemini I threw it in the dumpster it's my <laughs> fault completely it just is what it is when but the stars um, align. you know but I'd like to play you one off of uh, the record that I released last year. Um, I entered this song into a contest, and it did some pretty cool stuff. Um, and it's, <laughs> as luck would have it, it's about a relationship and not even in anymore. <laughs> but, I, mean, I better get it out of the way first and foremost, though, so we don't have to think about it anymore, because we're not even in this stage of life anymore. So anyway, 
uh, this one's called Before You. And um, if I told you the whole story, it would be irrelevant. So we're just going to play the song and <laughs> skip that part. <laughs> this one's called Before You. It's out if you want to listen to it. And it goes like this. That it was perfect, it wasn't working I was wasting all my time So damn certain That I would never find Something worth it Someone worth it I was in a Couldn't see the stars at night Couldn't count the fireflies Take a living kind of mood Before you Those neon lights to the shine Never realized that my whole life could be summarized in a word or two Before you just get in by myself and I No one by my side on a Friday night Didn't think that I need something new Before you Before you You surprised me Walked across the room and hypnotized me Staring in those baby blues, couldn't fight it There was something so familiar, we can't deny it No, we can't deny it How can this be possible with someone that I barely know Never felt the way I do Before you Shine as bright, never realized that my whole life could be summarized in a word or two. Before you just get in by myself and I, no one by my side on a Friday night, didn't think that I need something new. Before you. called Before You, if you couldn't guess that from the 6,000 before you. What was that one called? Yeah, actually, I was, do we have time for a tiny story? Please, tell okay. me. It's a, That's why we're here. It's, I'll keep it PG. I was playing this song at a, like a, I don't know, I was, I was in a parking lot. It was like kind of like a parking lot party. And I don't know if you've ever been to a parking lot party where there's a concert, but, I mean, the sound isn't the greatest. I mean, you know that music is happening, but it's not like you can actually understand the words, you know? <laughs> and this guy walks up to me, and he's like, now, I'm not trying to, like, get in your business, but does that song say Big You? And I was like, no. <laughs> no, it does not say, it is not a breakup song titled Big <laughs> F You. It is a love song called Before You, but it's... <laughs> Anyway, it's a great title though. We yeah, should we I should, feel write, like that. We should write, big write that. Big, 
to you. I've been doing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it turned into, you know, now I mentioned I'm not in that relationship anymore, so maybe I should rewrite it. Yeah, yeah. it's a parody <laughs> your own song. That sounds like a TikTok viral song, honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're sitting on a gold oh, mine, sister. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Thank you, mystery man from the parking lot party. <laughs> He's going to come after you I'll like, hey, that was my idea. That's my idea. <laughs> 50% to me. Word for a third. <laughs> Mm. Okay, I'm going to slow it down for just a second because I'm really, really excited about this song. Um, I was put together uh, with this girl to write a song one day, and sometimes when you get put with somebody, it doesn't go well, someone you never met. And sometimes it goes swimmingly. Um, This sweet girl named Kinsley Melhorn. uh, And we were talking about where she's from and all these things, and uh, she said, summer makes me homesick. And I said, stop. We're going to write this song. So this is called Summer Makes Me Homesick. That highway leads to my hometown There's one way in and there's one way out It's 17, I couldn't wait to leave And now I want to go back The days are long and do I hear Grandpa Chevy passenger seat Old school candy on the radio Man, I wanna go back To the good days Wanna go back to that slow pace Yeah, I know it sounds cliche That Lakeshore town is about As good as it gets The grass was greener Yeah, my roots were deeper Sweet tea tastes a little sweeter In that little town I swore I'd never miss Summer makes me homesick Rooftop bars, Friday nights My friends all love the city lights I spend my time looking at the stars What the hell am I doing here? I miss those good days Want to go back to that slow pace Yeah, I know it sounds cliche That Lakeshore town is about as good as it gets The grass was greener Yeah, my roots were deeper Sweet tea tastes a little sweeter In that little town I swore I'd never miss Summer makes me homesick I miss those good days Want to go back to that slow pace Yeah, I know it sounds cliche That a leak short town is about as good as it gets The grass was greener Yeah, my roots were deeper Sweet tea tastes a little sweeter In that little town I swore I'd never miss But I was full of it Summer makes me home The highway leads to my hometown There's one way in and there's one way out And now I'm going back yeah. Thanks, so y'all. Mm, that got me excited. My family's coming to town next week, actually. Oh. And I'm so excited because summer does make me yeah. homesick. So. Oh, man, that's so good. Oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, before I play this next one, I want to share the story about it. But is this a safe space? Can I share this story? <laughs> I feel like this is a sh- safe space. Girlfriend, and I've re- already, like, <laughs> really kind of gone there. You go there, please. The reason I ask <laughs> that is because I'm not particularly proud of this moment in my life. And <laughs> the reason I say that is because I like to consider myself a lover and not a fighter. But one time, I got in a bar fight. 
<laughs> we are live streaming, Sophie, just yeah. so... Okay, so there's yeah, no yeah, warrants okay. that we but need to know about. I will also say, like, I'm with you. I will not start it, but I will finish it. <laughs> so <laughs> what happened? Somebody over here clapped to my bar fight noise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need to hang out more. I think we'd have a great time going out together. Um, but so anyways, I got in a bar fight, and there was three things that really happened with this song. One was I got a black eye, which was my first black eye, so there was that. Two is I wrote a pretty cool song about it. And three, the song ended up on the show called Yellowstone, if any of y'all are Yellowstone fans. <laughs> Amen. Cool. Okay, all right. So um, this one's called Chess. to say That's why I didn't say anything You chased me into a corner Don't say that I didn't warn you You wanted a reaction so here we go But don't act like you didn't know You picked a fight and you picked the wrong girl Travels fast when you're in a small world It's a bold move to take on the best You're playing checkers and I'm playing chess <laughs> Go and ask the dive bar jury Say what you want cause I'm not worried Cause everybody here is barstool bit Threading. You picked a fight, you picked the wrong girl Who travels fast and you're in a small world It's a bold move to take on the best You're playing checkers and I'm playing chess You wanted a reaction so here we go Oh You didn't know. Oh, 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 oh. You picked a fight and you picked the wrong girl. Who travels fast when you're in a small world? It's a bold move to take on the best. You're playing checkers and I'm playing chess. You picked a fight, you picked the wrong girl. Who travels fast when you're in a small world? Don't mess with me if you don't want to miss. You're playing checkers and I'm playing chess. Like it's ironic you're wearing an orange jumpsuit. I'm <laughs> That's so true. I'm I just put saying two together, but you're not wrong. <laughs> but you look really pretty in it. Don't Thank hurt you, me. Man. That's Thank the you. best looking orange jumpsuit I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't think they fit them like that where you, you didn't end up in an orange jumpsuit place no, with one like no. that. No, not this time anyways. <laughs> but the night is young. Yeah. Yeah, did you did you young. shoot the album cover in that thing? Because <laughs> you, you know, should have. That is a great idea, though. Maybe like we should go back and re-envision yes, this. Yes, I like it. Reimagined. <laughs> yeah. We're doing the acoustic version. Then we're doing the stripped version. Totally. Oh, <laughs> Are y'all having fun? Yeah. Man. Who knew ladies' night was going to be so wild? <laughs> True. Yeah. <it's, laughs> y'all got bait and switched. <laughs> Let's go to ladies' night. It'll be so nice. Music will be so nice. They'll be so demure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throwing fists. And, I mean, if you know anything about Jamie, he's not friends with like dainty flowers. I don't no. think. No. Uh, this song that I want to play next, though, is kind of on the softer side. I'll say um, it was a solo write, and um, I wrote it kind of soon after my dog passed away, and it was like the first dog that like I had, and like it was my boy, and like you know, if you're dog lovers, you know what I'm talking about, like. They're like, fa they're really family. And I, you know, I knew that, but then I got my own dog. And then I was like, now I really know that. So it's a love song for humans too, but um, I started thinking about like, it could work for friends, it could work for family, it can work for whatever. Um, it's called Souls. And um, it's about 
You know, sometimes the people in your life, you meet them by accident, you know, like, y'all, I didn't like go online and be like, how do I meet Megan Barker and Sophie Lynn? How do I end up on a stage with them? We just met, you know, it was an accident. Um, and I started wondering if those accidents also happen in heaven so that we could maybe meet the same people over again if you like really love them. Um, so this one's called Souls and that's what it's about. And I hope that you like it. I look around at all I have and I don't feel a thing. None of this stuff comes close enough to what you mean to me. Oh, it's the perfect piece of land. It's the perfect little house. But there's nothing here that I can't live without. Will my soul find yours in heaven too? so much. I appreciate that. Aww. <laughs> kind of sad now. Sorry, guys. Sorry. It's beautiful. Thank you. Well, I could have been tuning while you are playing, but I was engrossed. Aww. We tune because we care. We do tune because we care. Also tune because it'll drive me crazy if I don't. It's country music. That's caring. Okay. That's country. That's caring. <laughs> Does everybody live around here? Anybody from outside of Crossville? Oh, where are you from? 
Okay. Where are you guys from? Okay. What are you doing here? You're really far from home. Yeah. Where are you from? Y'all lost? Just kidding. What? Oh, what part of California? Nuh uh. <laughs> Wait, he's not laughing. He's not. Uh. Okay. Uh. No, no, you should have left it where it was. I liked that better. <laughs> where are you guys from? Okay. I'm not too from, far. Uh, Pasadena, California. Yeah. Mission Viejo. All right. I miss California. Ooh, the weather. The Mexican man is hard food. Out here. Oh my <laughs> the god. The Mexican food. Yeah. Arizona. Hey, we got lots of West Coast. I grew up in Las Vegas, which is basically California and Arizona, so I count. Where are you guys from? I count. Dallas. Dallas. Whoa. Sickum Bears. It's like an international <laughs> airport in here. <laughs> Only the food's better. <laughs> yeah. But See how I just did all that talking to cover up my tuning and I still didn't tune? <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. It's so exciting. It is exciting. What? Who loves it here? Oh, well, no, everybody loves it here. You're right. She's absolutely right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's doing our job for us. This is our tip jar. I was it gonna, looks like Christmas. <laughs> I was going to try to find a subtle way to bring it up, but he nailed it. That, that was, was great. No, this is the to. tip jar, right? We don't have to. Look at that. Okay, I'll play a song now. Thank you, you for your patience. You come to every show. <laughs> this is the tip jar. That would I, be yeah, so I great. need. I need that. Are you looking? Are you looking to get hired? Want to go on the road? As the tip jar, <laughs> Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> my mom does that whenever. My mom's over here. Oh, she's filming me. That's great. Hey, this is great mom, content. This is perfect. My mom's here, but whenever she comes to my gig, she'll like halfway through the show, like just come put a couple mm -hmm. dollars in the tip jar just to set the example. I love it. Go mom. Go mom. Uh, this has nothing to do with anything. This is called Heart and the Heartache, and I hope you like it. Oh, wait, come back. It's fun. <laughs> We're sold out We're anyway. Not that <laughs> if there's leaving in your kiss, let it linger on my lips for a moment before it's broken. If it's over in your eyes, just give me one more night to feel your touch. If it's not too much, could you put a little heart in the heartache? Put a little food in the goodbye, baby. Break it to me channel with a clean break. Maybe that is if it's easy, baby. I can hold it all together. You can make it better if you put a little heart in it. Just put a little heart in the heartache Even if it isn't true Say it's not me, it's you We'll pretend We can still be friends And there's a place in time when it's okay to lie, boy, how about it? How about you tell one now? I put a little heart in the heartache. Put a little good in the goodbye, baby. Break it to me, channel with a clean break. Let me down easy if it's easy, maybe I can hold it all together. You can make it better if you put a little heart in it. Just
Thank you so much. That's awesome. You can't help but groove to that one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a song that I wrote about my grandma. Uh, my grandma was my everything to me. She passed a few years back, but I wear like all of her jewelry. I wear a lot of her clothes still. Like these are her earrings. This is her oh. ring. Like literally so everything of hers. Um, and she really inspired me to play music. And she was just my biggest fan all growing up. And so if any of y'all have somebody that just like cheers for you or roots for you or have any have anybody in your life that has done that in the past, then maybe you'll relate to this one. But this is called Pulling Strings. <laughs> Grandma didn't like when I moved across the country Gave up on this pipe dream and found something steady Grandma hoped I'd save every 20 that she sent me Four new guitar strings, but I spent it on a nose ring She didn't tell me what to do But somehow I just that every Christmas she played my favorite songs Just so I would sing Her friends knew every word She had my demos on repeat Said you have a gift for a reason She never got to see it But every day I live this dream I know grandma's up in heaven Pulling strings Step on stage, I can feel her with me. She said, Dress to impress, so I always wear her jewelry. And every time my light shines down, it got me on this road. It might look like luck, but it's her love I know. That every Christmas she played my favorite songs just so I would sing. Her friends knew every word, she had my demo. Said you have a gift for a reason She never got to see it But every day I live this dream I know grandma's up in heaven Pulling strings on the soul guitar And the ones that have gotten me this far Must have asked God for a favor I wish I could thank her so every Christmas I still play those songs I know she's listening Smiling cause she got me Right where I'm supposed to be She knew I had a gift for a reason Now I finally believe it Cause every day I live this dream I know grandma's up in heaven Pulling strings I love she that. Is. I'm in a mental battle with myself currently about what to play next. <laughs> Me too. So <laughs> So that's what you're currently witnessing, the set list list wonder that is me in true Gemini fashion. I can't make up my dang mind about what I want to do up here. Um, okay, let's just get it out in the open. Last year was the reason that I decided to write a whole nother album, because um, the first one just, you know, wasn't enough. We're going to do it again. Uh, last year I went through a divorce. If there's anyone divorced in the house, I hear you, I see you, I feel you. It's not pretty, but sometimes it just is what has to happen. You just get called to go through things you don't want to go through. Um, I was on a golf course. This is also, I'm going somewhere with this, I promise. The two things are related. 
And I said something that I've said about 10 times on a golf course in my life. And everyone else that I've ever said this to has laughed, except for this one person I was playing with, who's also a songwriter. And I said, who are we and what have we done with us? Because we decided to play good golf for one hole and I was confused. And he didn't laugh and it was rude. Instead, he said, because he knew what I had been going through, and he said, I think you need to take that home and write it. I said, I'm trying to play golf. I'm not trying to work right now, dude. <laughs> and he was like, no, I'm serious. You need to take that home and write it. So I sat down long and hard, and I thought, no, this, is, this makes a lot of sense. You think that you're going to be in this situation forever. And then it turns on its head, which is life in a nutshell. Um, so this is Who Are We and What Have We Done With Us and hope that you like it. Somewhere in a closet on a shelf collecting dust is a box that's long forgotten where we keep the old us. Mostly out of sight and out of mind with the memories hanging around Oh, the we from back in time Is not the same as we are now We'd come to this No way did I ever think We'd merely coexist Never thought the laughter Would be placed With silence twice as loud And my lover laying next to me At night feels like a stranger now Thank you so much. I need like a recovery period after all these songs. <laughs> oh man. What a good key. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with that key. I'm gonna pick things up a little bit. Uh, can I play you guys like a really silly song? Yeah. yeah. It might not be in tune though. I'm sorry, Jamie. Can feel he's like, <laughs> tune in between songs. 
Um, okay, so like a month ago, I put out a brand new single, and uh, I wrote this song a couple years ago. I, I got burned by somebody, and I, I wanted to write a song about, like, where are all the cool girls? Like, you guys, where were you a couple years ago? I was looking for you. Where are the cool girls in Nashville that, like, do music and want to eat Taco Bell and hang out and aren't super competitive and don't want to, like, stab each other in the back? And um, I have since found them. But I wrote this really cool song with a couple of friends of mine, and I thought it was really silly. There's a rap in it. I rap. I thought it was silly. So one night I played it out and somebody came up and said they liked it. So I was like, I'll play it again. And it happened again. So um, fast forward a couple years, I decided to put it out and I had this vision for a music video. And I was like, what if we were all doing karaoke, me and a bunch of cool girls in Nashville at Santa's Pub, which is like this iconic spot in Nashville. Yes. So I called Santa and I was like, Merry Christmas. No, I wasn't. I called Santa. Have you ever seen the guy that works the door? He really does look like Santa. No, he he is, he looks just like Santa. He is Santa Claus. Yeah. Santa owns a bar in Nashville. Yeah, he's got to be. He's got in this big, long beard. He does. Yeah, he's awesome. And he <laughs> let us film a ridiculous, hilarious, amazing music video there. And so you are going to go home and watch it after this and get a chuckle out of it, hopefully. Um, this is called Friend Like That. I made it worse. Megan can't talk and tune at the same time. What is happening? I built it up. It was so exciting. Oh, I'm getting worse. Stop looking at me. Sorry. Guilty. Everybody look Super away. Super guilty. I'm like trying to send tune vibes, and she's like, stop it. I'm like, oh, sorry. It's my first day playing guitar ever. Okay. This Not is called Friend bad. Like That. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's going well. I see Monica and Rachel drinking coffee on TV. I've been looking for someone to roll like that with me. Well, I wouldn't mind drinking some wine with a good old friend of mine. We could split the tab, share a cab, and talk about the boys we like. Hey, yeah, 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 where are all my homegirls and someone? If these jeans make me look fat I'm just looking for someone Who's always gonna have my back So holla at me if you know Where I can find a friend like that Woo! Well, I might do hot yoga If I had someone to go with Who knows that I eat Taco Bell It won't judge me for that shit We'll have shopping dates when we get paid and buy things we can't afford. We'll talk all night, laugh and cry, laugh a little bit more. Hey, yeah, 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 where are all my homegirls at? Somebody tell me if these jeans make me look bad. I'm just looking for someone who's always going to have my back. Me if you know where I can find a friend like that. Are you guys ready to hear a white girl rap? Oh. She's my secret keeping, she ain't deceiving. If I had a man, I know she won't be creeping. Strictly speaking, we ain't competing. Yeah, we're on the same team through every season of Gossip Girl, like Blair and Serena. We sisters like Venus and Serena, so it's game, set, match if you try to mess. Ain't the body seven on my BFF. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are all my homegirls at? Someone tell. Do these jeans make me look fat? No. no. Okay. I'm just looking for someone who's always gonna have my back. Holla at me if you know I can find a friend like. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, a friend like someone tell me. Someone tell me, baby. I need a, a friend like, a friend like. Uh, thanks, y'all. So good. I'll go to Taco Bell with you anytime. Yes, girl. Anytime. <laughs> Especially now that they brought back the Mexican pizza. Count me in. It's going down. <laughs> y'all know where to find us after the show.
Yeah. I mean, like, who was the person that was like, I have a brilliant idea. Let's just take this Mexican pizza thing away. Like, nobody likes it. I know. What are you doing? <laughs> there will be yeah, protests. That was, Worse. That was devastating. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and then now you go there and they're like, sorry, we're out of stock. And you're like, are you serious? I waited so many years for you to bring it we back. <laughs> They'll be back in we November. Just got here. A little birdie told me. This has just become like a Taco Bell discussion. So if anybody wants the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so I'm going to put my fiance on blast a little bit, real quick. Is that okay? <laughs> um, so uh, my fiance and I just moved to Nashville. Oh, it must be almost a year now. Woo, uh, thank you. And But before we moved, I kind of had to convince him a little bit. I was like, this will be a great move for the both of us. Wink, wink. No, but just kidding. So <laughs> it, on the real, though, I was like, I know we like our little small town. I know I said Pasadena, but I'm from a town called Glendora. I don't know if you know it. Um, but it's a small town in comparison of what L.A. actually is. And everybody knows everybody, and it's just really homey. I love my hometown. And uh, I, was, I had to convince him. I was like, I promise we can find this little small town type atmosphere in a big city. So this one's called Small Town Love. No surprise, I've told you a hundred times. I'm trading stars for city lights. If you pack a bag, we can head out the door together. Yeah, I know if it's up to you, we'd have a wedding in that little white church with just our friends and family. And I know if it's up to you, we'd stay planted right where we are. But we could find a hole in the wall, dive bar, where the beers are just cold and the regulars are just as Baby, let's take the lead. We could find a hole in the wall, dive bar, where the beers just as cold and the regulars are just as cool as at home, where everyone knows who's breaking up and who's gonna say I do. You know, church ain't just for our folk, and we can drive far enough to find back roads in the city. We don't have to. Get Built by your daddy And I know if it's up to you We'd stay planted right where we are But we could find a hole in the wall Down far Where the beers are just cold And the regulars are just as cool No. I right. need that out. That's going to be stuck <laughs> in my head all night. Oh, Amen. Thank you. Oh, Lord. It worked. I got him to move, so. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, so um, that inspired me to play this song. It's kind of love song-esque. Um, I really wanted to give myself permission after uh, the divorce happened to not be like, oh man, that was like the one, you know? Like, I kept saying this thing when it all happened, like, I didn't get married to get divorced. And then I caught myself saying that and I was like, wait a second, like you're kind of talking yourself into a hole here. I know you didn't originally get married to get divorced, but like that's what's happening. So you're gonna have to find a way to pick yourself up and get along with it. Um, yeah, I treat myself with a lot of tough love because it's just how my life has gone. Um, so I wrote this song called Loving Somebody Right because um, I have recently met someone that uh, kind of showed me the reason that that all fell out. I was, this feels like kind of maybe the plan all along. Not sure if he's watching or not, but if you are, this one's for you. Um, this one's called Loving Somebody Right, and it's a, a song to get your ego out of the way and um, find the love that's actually meant for you. If what you think is meant for you is fleeing from you, that means it's not really meant for you, and something that is meant for you will come along. Um, so that's what this one's about, and I hope that you like it. It goes like this.
y'all so much. I appreciate that. Y'all still having fun? Yeah. Me too. So uh, I write songs for myself uh, as an artist, and then I also write songs for other people. And um, I wrote this song with a couple friends of mine, and uh, one of them is Justin Harden, who hopefully we can get out here sometime. I know Jamie really likes Justin, but he's probably one of the best voices I've heard in Nashville. He's such a great writer, such a great guy. So hopefully you guys will be here in Justin soon. But anyway, we wrote this song together, and uh, you got to go hear his version. But he put it out a while back and did a music video for it and all that. But I'm going to do my rendition because I just love this song so much. It's about a missed call. It's called You Just Missed Me. I saw that you called I gotta say I was surprised It's been so long Since you You said goodbye Is everything okay? Did you dial me by mistake? Maybe you just had a few drinks I don't know what to think Calling to say that you don't like the way that you left things and you can't leave it be. I didn't hear it ring, no. I guess you just missed me. If you're thinking that you might try to make it right, well, I'm out on the town tonight and I ain't by my phone. I wish you'd leave it alone But I guess you just missed me Just when I thought I'd made my peace I get all messed up From just a name on the screen Did you have nothing else to do Open up all wounds Even after all of the hurt Oh, you've got a lot of nerve If you call in to say That you don't like the way That you left things And you can't leave it be I didn't hear it ring, no I guess you just missed me Try to make it right I'm out on the town tonight And I ain't by my phone Wish you'd leave it alone But I guess you just miss me Just miss me If you're thinking that you might Try to make it right Well, I'm out in Crossville, Tennessee tonight And I ain't found my phone Wish you'd leave me alone But I guess you just miss me If it rings again I might just pretend That you just miss me Thanks, y'all. Sarah, you're so awesome. Woo. Did you guys want to try a little like sing along thing? Yeah. Do you guys want to do a sing along real quick? We got some singers in the house. Everybody loves sing alongs. I know it's a songwriter night, but we were all talking that maybe we could do one song that we all know and love. And, and I think y'all might know and love this one too. So if you know it, definitely sing it loud with us. 
I think what I love most about this is that all the kids on TikTok were like, have you heard this new song? It's so good. <laughs> so and they started true. putting it to all their like dumb roller skating videos and like pet videos. And I'm like, man, this song rocks. I'm like, the rest of us been knowing that for 30 years. <laughs> I was just jealous that they went viral. I'm just bitter. <laughs> That's true. But then it also gave me hope. It could be 30 years down the road. You never know. You never know. <laughs>
good. Bravo. <laughs> I want to congratulate y'all so much because there is sometimes nothing that much worse than a good old-fashioned audience sing-along flop. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you for not that was being not that audience. Yeah. That was great. You sound fantastic. <laughs> And um, Oh, so Jamie yeah. just texted me, y'all sound great, but I feel like he's probably talking about you guys. That's true. So. Yeah, That's probably true. Jamie it. approves. <laughs> yeah. Into it. Fabulous. How do we move on from that? I that know. was so fun. I play, and now we're playing Rhiannon. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Covers the rest of the show. Yeah, yeah, that's a <laughs> strictly a rumor show now. <laughs> and I didn't even wear my Fleetwood Mac shirt. Um, fab. Okay, so <laughs> seriously, <laughs> what, I mean, like, what do we do for that? Um, I already played that one. I would just say pass. Pass. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I can't do that. Pass. I can't do that. The thing is, the next one I want to play is in drop D, but I was too busy hanging out and playing with my friends to retune to drop D. So I had to do something else first and then do that. So I'll tell um, a knock knock joke. No, I don't. No, I'm just kidding. No, I won't. <laughs> I recently fell into having some children in my life, so I've got knock knock jokes for days. Do you really? Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you tell a it's joke a and, and tune at the same time? Because I can't. No. Um, no, I can't. Um, I'll I've... save the knock knock joke for later. Okay. Um, I will play this song that I wrote. Um, it's called Free, and I wrote it from a place of just kind of being sick of it all, you know? Um, you get into a situation, you're like, man, I've been sad about this for a while, and I'm ready to be done with it. I'm ready to just rid myself of all that stuff. And we're taking all the things, and we're moving on, right? Yep. So this one's called Free, and it's about just cutting it all loose, being sick and tired of being sick and tired, and just getting on with it. Um, and it goes like this. What do you say when there's nothing worth saying? When there's nothing left to do? When it ain't even worth asking Cause you know he won't tell the truth When you're two words from the end And the love has long been gone And you can't think of a reason That keeps you hanging on When he looks you dead in the eye And he says I love you too But you see straight through the lie Cause you've already seen the proof Oh, I don't have nothing But it's better than being stuck with Stuck with you and your alibis Playing with you in this bed of lies I'll pack every last thing I own I'll be gone before you get home Last night was the last you'll see of me I'll count down the minutes till I'm free day to break as silent as that sun comes up I'll be making my escape I won't look back as I'm leaving I won't answer when you call the only thing worse than saying goodbye is saying nothing at all oh I don't have nothing but it's better than being stuck with stuck with you your See me, I count down the minutes. Oh, he looked me dead in the eye, and he said, I love you too. But I saw straight through the lie, cause I'd already seen the proof. Oh, I don't have nothing, but it's better than being stuck with, stuck with you, your alibis, laying with you in this bed of lies. I'll pack every last thing I own. Before you get home Last night was the last you'll see of me I'm counting down the minutes Till I'm free Oh, till I'm free I'm counting down the minutes Till I'm free
one's called Free. It's slightly angsty, if you couldn't tell. I love that one. That's cool. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate thank that. You. All this love in the chip jar, thank you so much. From the kind stranger in the hat. Making us feel warm and fuzzy up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having one of those moments now where I'm like, wait, what do I play? Uh, there. Because you start getting down to the wire, and you're like, I start choosing between songs. You want to make sure you save the right one for the, you know. For the moment. It's like strategic. Writing a set list is an art. It is. And indeed. you can't write a set list when you're playing with other people. <laughs> so true. So we don't have one. So we wing it. I don't know if you guys knew this, but we've been winging it the entire time. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> it's all improv, really. It's completely improv. I was actually being kind of sarcastic because I thought it was obvious, but... <laughs> Uh, let's see if I have this lyric in front of me. So um, I wrote this song, and it's, it's kind of a dude song, but I really want to play it for you because I think it's really special. Uh, but I can't remember what it's called, so I can't look for the lyric. I'm having a moment. Uh, oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Mom for the win. Uh, so a couple years ago, I met this really great artist in Nashville named Mitch Rossell, and uh, he has had a few Garth Brooks cuts as a songwriter. You. And I know, yeah, right? And so uh, when deal. he was like, do you want to write sometime? I was like, yes. Um, <laughs> and so we wrote this song, and uh, I don't know if you guys know who Mitch is, but he's actually on tour opening for Garth Brooks and his stadium tour right now. No and it's deal. really, really what? cool. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's like playing acoustic as he's opening for him. And I'm like, are you peeing your pants every night? Because <laughs> no, I, would, I would absolutely be doing that. Um, so I'm really glad that I talked about this song because I can't find the lyrics, but we're going to wing it. It's called A Good Way to Get Hurt. Help me. <laughs> when I was a kid, my mama Used to push me on the backyard swing And I'd keep feeling higher and higher Till it felt like I had wings And then I let go of those chains And when I land in the dirt She'd say That's a good way to get hurt Seventeen hours held on wheels In a souped-up black trans -am. Too fast, wasn't fast enough to make me feel like a man The sheriff Jones lit me up one night and said, son, for what it's worth That's a good way to get her And I could write the book on broken bones broken hearts I dropped my guard she got too close I fell in love with her and I learned that's a good way to get her and she told me she wasn't sure man I just couldn't let it go I should have given her a little more space now I guess I know when she says she's done and you're still trying to make it work That's a good way to get her And I could write the book on broken bones and broken parts But damn they ain't got nothing on the book of broken hearts I dropped my guard, she got too close I fell in love with her And I learned That's a good way to get her I 
dropped my guard She got too close I fell in love with her Thanks, y'all. That's a damn good song. I love that one. So I played a song for my grandma, and now I'm thinking about playing a song for my mama. Woo! Do we got any other moms here besides Megan's mom? <laughs> moms in the house, raise your hand. Hey. Raise your hand, come on. Okay, all right. So you moms are literally superheroes, and um, back in the day, I used to be in a duo, and one, uh, for Mother's Day, I was like, I don't know what to get my mom for Mother's Day. She has everything, but I'd, I don't really know what to do. But you know what? I've never written her a song before, and uh, she deserves a song. And so we went into the room, and we wrote it, um, and it really just, you know, something was special about it. So we went in the studio and recorded it, and it, you might have heard it on TikTok. It did real well on TikTok, like number two on the charts, which was really Woo! cool. Definitely a okay. milestone, but Woo! this one's called... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Thanks, Sophie. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> God. I mean, if anybody could do it, you could do it. So. <laughs> she already wrote it, Mom. Don't worry. She just hasn't yeah. showed you yet. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Yeah, gotcha. um, anyways, this one's called Got It From My Mama. The dancing queen gave me a crown the day that I turned 17. She passed down so much more than these vintage Levi's jeans. I came out tougher like my brother, but we're not the only ones. I hold my liquor like my sister, but where do you think we got it from? If you like the way I walk, the way I the hazel in my eyes The songs I sing How big I dream Laugh until I cry While my heart is on my sleeve And I scream when I hear Madonna Everything good in me I got it from my mama Oh, oh, oh I got it from my mama Oh, oh, oh We got matching tattoos and when I asked her if it hurt, she laughed and said, Honey, it's got nothing on giving birth. From my freckles to my smile, and how I have to have the last word. Yeah, if you ask my father, he'd tell you that it's all her. If you like the way I walk, the way I Hazel in my eyes The songs I sing How big I dream Laugh until I cry While my heart is on my sleeve And I scream when I hear Madonna Everything good in me I got it from my mama Oh, oh, oh I got it from my mama Oh, oh, oh I come from a long line Of girls who were taught right. I hope one day when I have a daughter, she'll tell you she got it from her mama. Oh, oh, oh. she got it from her mama. Yeah, if you like the way I walk, the way I talk, the hazel in my eyes, the songs I sing, how big I dream, laugh until I cry. While my heart is on my So 
Moment of genius rhyming Madonna with Mama. I mean, okay. I mean, Madonna's queen. You have I to mean, put her in the song. <laughs> Bow down. Do y'all mind if I play a little slow one? Um, this is a the newest one of all the things. Sorry. Which will probably change like tomorrow or something. <laughs> because that's how our brains work. They don't turn off. Um, so true. I was looking out a window. I do that sometimes to just kind of calm down. People are like, what are you doing? Just looking out a window. <laughs> it's fine. And I started thinking about how like trees don't really get to choose, unless you plant them, they don't get to choose where they're planted. And they don't just fall over because they don't like the climate. And I think uh, as humans, we're guilty of that a little bit. We're like, oh, I don't like this. So I'm just gonna leave. Um, and I think maybe we ought to think about the little thought of like blooming where you're planted a little more nurturing our relationships um, to make them last because um, there's people that are like oh relation it, it just don't last like it used to you know people say that about all kinds of things technology but definitely relationships as well and um, I think that if we nurtured them a little bit more maybe they'd last longer this one's called Oak Tree, and I hope that you like it. I'm looking at an old oak tree, thinking of all the things it seen, lightning and thunder in the sky in between you. When the wind blows, there's no way it can be moved. Guess we could stand to learn a thing or two. Some days it has its doubts Wants to pull its roots up from the ground Maybe there's been a day or two Where it felt like crashing down But it stuck it out I'm looking at an old oak tree there was a day when it was just a seed a day when it had no home, no bark, no leaves I want to be like you, yeah I want to learn to do the things you do I want to know come whatever will make it through and Maybe there'll be days we'll have a doubt Wanna pull our roots up from the ground Maybe there'll be a day when me will feel like crashing down But we'll stick it out Thinking of all the things it 
it seem Lightning and thunder in the sky in between you Thank you so much. I tried to tune while you were playing, but it was distracting. Thanks, y'all. Thank you so much. You. We appreciate that. Y'all are just the best. How's your Saturday evening going? Yeah. Thank you so much. I will say, um, on behalf of all three of us, um, us songwriters, you know, we can write until we're blue in the face, but our songs don't do much if we don't have people to listen to them. True so that. rooms like this are very important to writers like us. So thank you all so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks to Grinder House for having us. I think we got a few more songs tonight if you guys are still up for it. <laughs> so I have these cute little uh, nasty gal, nasty gal boots on. Oh, you um, are so cute. I definitely noticed those before we started. Thank you also, so much. Also, I didn't get the hat memo, so next time, ladies. Next time. So. <laughs> next time, we won't be wearing hats. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> kind of left you out to dry. Sorry, girl. I'll show up in a hat, and I'm like, where are your guys' hats? I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Um, oh, yes, the boots. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> oh, no, the boots. Thank you. They're also in the Friend Like That video, so if you want to see them in action. Um, but my point is, I usually, I used to wear cowboy boots like every single day of my life until I met these. But um, I had this one really special pair of cowboy boots. Um, my mom actually like won this contest with Marlboro like 20 years ago. She designed them online and she won and they printed them for her and they were uh, too big. So they sat in a closet for like a really long time until I discovered them and literally wore the soles out of them. Um, and so I was thinking one day about all these adventures that I'd been on in this pair of boots. Um, and there's a little music video for this song with like a lot of adventures of me in the boots. So go check it out. This is called When My Boots Were New. So if you have a special pair of boots, play this song for those boots. Hanging off the side They're not broken They're just broken The way I like As wrinkled as they are They still point the way for me Thank you And every mile's a memory when my boots were new, I didn't know how far we would take these dreams. Baby, here we are. Been down some rocky roads, leaving footprints in the dust. Just to warn our souls, just the two of us. Never dreamt of all we That's where we'd stick around Cause we like the view And we've stood on every stage You'll find our food 66 And there's a story behind Every scratch and every neck But we my boots were new I didn't know how far We would take these dreams
wait Gonna see how much more they can take With my boots for new Didn't know how far We would take these dreams Baby, here we are Been down some rocky roads So I wrote this next one with um, a very dear friend and co-writer. Her name's Tammy Marler. And the idea actually came from her grandson. Uh, he came to her and was like, Grandma, can you write a song called Homesick Heart? And so we had to write that day. And she came to me and she was like, hey, what do you think of this title? And I was like, actually, that's so relatable. At the time, I was just moved to Nashville. And I was like not home a bunch because we were on the road. And uh, so we wrote this song called Homesick Heart. And this is for Tammy's grandson. <laughs> they don't know my name. They don't know I came in for a drink. Can't play my favorite song. Don't know. If I'll be here for long I'll be asked if I came here alone Can they put my number in their phone? Back home at Jake's bar He knows what I like I only drink Corona with two lines Can't sit in this hotel room every night I've had enough of city lights The bottles on the shelf don't change same bar stools just rearrange i need something strong to rest my head i miss the pillows on my bed maybe i've gone a little too far for now tequila will cure my home Thank you. 
Well, folks, I believe we have reached the one song warning, <laughs> which is just as sad for us as it is for you. Um, especially, I feel like live shows ending is even more sad considering we just kind of got back to them. Yeah. Yeah? You yeah. know? Yeah. I mean, I can play for my dogs in my living room on Instagram like all day, but like there's no substitute for this and being in this room. So thank you all so much. Thank Appreciate you. you so much. Thank you. And um, thank you guys so much, Grinder House, for having us. We were told before the show, we were talking a little bit about, you know, how this came about and how they started doing this. And he's like, oh, we've been doing this for like five years. And so one time, if y'all could give it up for Grinder House for giving songwriters yeah. like us a place to play. Yeah. With great service and great food and great drinks and this big comfy couch that... <laughs> God bless y'all for still being awake, because I wouldn't be. So I don't, wouldn't actually even take offense if y'all were napping at all. <laughs> but I've got uh, one more song for y'all. Thank you so much. I wrote this with my friends, uh, Tana Goforth and Jess Nixon. And it was when I was going through the divorce and we started talking about Jesus, because honestly, <laughs> there aren't many reasons that I kind of got out of my slump than just straight prayer, lots of Bible reading, church going, all those things. Um, yeah, it really helped a lot. And uh, so Jess goes, I mean, do you ever feel like maybe you need God sooner than Sunday? Maybe that sounds dumb. And I was like, nope. That is the Great smartest idea. thing that you have said all day. And we are writing that. So we wrote this song called Sooner Than Sunday about when you just feel like Sunday doesn't come soon enough. Ooh. And um, I hope that y'all like it. <laughs> Thank you so much. John 316, once a week, just like my mama taught me about your head. Wear your best, put your pennies in the plate when it passes. I never saw the point of being in the pew and sitting up straight. But now it's like I need it every day. I read the good book and I, I try to keep my faith. I'm not afraid to admit when I don't. Sunday, sooner than Sunday, sooner than Sunday. My wheels just spin, I failed again. Tell me, will I ever win? Am I enough? How much is too much? Will I ever really know the difference? These pieces just don't seem to be fitting. You can't hurry a story being written. I read the good book and I, I try to keep my faith. Sometimes I'm afraid to admit when I don't know the right way. Sunday, sooner than Sunday, sooner than Sunday. Just when I think I can put my problems on a shelf, there's only one thing to help me, help myself. Be 
read the good book and I, I'm not afraid. I try to keep my faith. I'm not afraid to admit when I don't know the right way. I've got to let it go because I can't control the Thank you all so much. My name is Sarah Faith. Thank you so much for being a great audience. Let's go, ladies. We got one last chance. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Tell everyone where to find you. Oh, you can find me um, in the social world. Uh, if you want them to. I mean, it's, it's more of a you thing than a me thing. Yes, please come find me and watch the crazy dog and pony show literally that is my life. I do have a pony. I have two goats. I've got a new puppy. If I can lure you with cute animals, please let me. Um, I'm on Instagram as Sarah Faith underscore music. I'm on TikTok as Sarah Faith music, uh, Facebook, YouTube, all the places. So oh. hope to see you there. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Oh, man. Yeah. I can't believe it's over. What a fun night. My gosh, it went by so fast. Uh, shout out to Asa and uh, Grinder House for having us. And shout out to Jamie. If you're still watching, buddy, I hope you're feeling Woo! better. Yes. Uh, please have us back soon. I would come back in a heartbeat. This was so much yeah. fun. You guys too? Okay. Uh, yes. In this um, exact formation. In this exact formation. <laughs> in the exact same outfits. <laughs> Minus um, hats, but don't tell Sophie. In the <laughs> Uh, my name is Megan Barker. Come find me online at Megan Barker Music, uh, wherever you are. I'm probably there, like MasterCard. And uh, I'm going to leave you with a little Friday nighter on a Saturday yep. night. I've seen you here before. Heart like a swinging door, snake skin boots on a hardwood floor, making you move. Working the room like a last call jukebox player. You might have that cowboy flair, but you ain't got a dive bar prayer in case you didn't know. Tonight is G and O, and I. Cause it's Monday Maybe meet my mama one day Kind of guy with only me in his eyes Go downtown on a Thursday Ditch the crowd and come home early Saturday like a Hallmark movie Dance me around the kitchen So boy, in case you're fishing
be somebody's every day, all day, weekends and holidays. Yeah. I, I've done a back booth kiss and nearly all night dinner, and I, yeah, poor old flames and a cigarette lighter, bad boys, good timers, trying out the road. So awesome, yeah. Well, thank you so much for having us. I It was an honor being on stage with you ladies. Ooh, so much likewise. talent. Same. And also, thanks for playing on all the songs. Yeah. It sounds oh, so shoot. good. Thanks, so Sarah, so for good. backing Sarah. us up. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Paul for the sound yes, tonight. Thank you so much. Amen. The sound is amazing. Um, and y'all wouldn't be able to hear us without Paul. So can we give a hand <laughs> for Paul? That's true. <laughs> That's true. Thanks, Paul. Uh, with so one much. arm, honestly, <laughs> killing it. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for having me again. This has been awesome. I'd love to get to know every one of y'all. Um, send me a DM. Send me an email. Let's chat. Uh, you can find me anywhere at I am Sophie Lynn. And Sophie with an F. My parents wanted to be different. So. <laughs> um, this last one. So uh, I am engaged. Clearly, Yay! I'll tell you about my fiance. And uh, yes, thank you. As exciting as that is, and we like locked down our wedding venue and everything, but I couldn't help but think, what am I gonna do for my bachelorette party? Um, and my oldest sister's planning it and everything. It's been really fun to plan all that. But I was thinking, I was like, I really want like an anthem for my bachelorette. I feel like I don't have a song that I'm like, this is my anthem for getting married. Uh, so I wrote this one with my friend Hillary Reynolds and um, it's called Getting Hitched. Pop the champagne, I'm changing my last name. My baby gave me a ring. Got my girls to my left and my right. They're in black and I'm in white. On Sunday, I'll say I do, but tonight we're in our Daisy Dukes. We're not looking for trouble, getting hit, so pull me a devil. Guys still try to flirt, even in my bride to be t shirt. Tonight, my these boots were made for walking down the aisle <laughs> Fill up the glasses, all I know is Mimosas are bottomless Won't cross the line, nothing to hide Except decorations mama don't like But before the wedding bells We are gonna race some hell On the dance floor We're not looking for trouble Getting hit so poor She might get us kicked out of the bar That's okay, cause it's almost three And pizza sounds pretty good to me yeah. Cheers to all my ride or dies We will never forget this night We're not looking for trouble Getting hit, so pour me a devil Guys still try to flirt Even in my bride-to-be t-shirt Lynn, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank y'all so much. We come back anytime. Thank you so much. <laughs>